Are you dizzy yet? <laughs> oh, oh, wait. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. Ventus was just uh, distracted uh, there for a minute. Anyway, welcome back. I found a penny. I couldn't pick it up. That damn penny so slippery. All right, I got an ether. Yes, welcome back to more Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep. Woo! We're still at Ventus in uh, Dwar Dwarf Woodlands or whatever. Yeah, Dwarf Woodlands. Birth by Sleep, even though I'm more awake here than I've ever been when I'm playing when we were watching 358 Days Over 2. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> yes. We're with that character now, right? Why is his name different? Yeah. All right, just to make sure. Okay, so I'm missing two treasure chests. Oh, I think I may know where they are, but we'll, we'll say. Oh, uh, this is all you can acquire right now. Okay. Uh, actually, aren't they usually... The treasures get added to the list as you get to new areas, Yeah, right? I was saying, they usually yeah. tell you if you can catch, uh, get them, uh, usually, right? <sighs> all right, okay. pause. Okay. Like, those are the three weapons. Air, uh, metal blades, uh, quick boomerangs, and uh, air tornado. Those ones are good. But to remember the other ones, Bubble Head, I think, is absolute dog shit. That's not yep. even the bosses. Um, yep. The flash thing isn't very good because it doesn't really... You can't really do anything. And you just kind of sit here and burn. Um, and we're back! Yep, we're back. <laughs> uh, sorry about that, folks. So okay, we just, we're yeah. shooting the shit talking about Mega Man. Yep. Talking about how crappy some of Mega Man 2 weapons actually are. Thinking back on them. Yeah. Also, it doesn't help that the other thing about Mega Man 2 also is the slipperiness! Yeah, not as bad as 1, but still slippery. They don't really fix that till fully till 4, I, I guess. 4 is one of the, yeah. Oh, there she is. Yep. What's wrong? These horrible trees, they tried to crack me. So here's Snow White, who's voiced Snow White on a lot okay. of modern things. You Carolyn Gardner. Seeing things. Yeah. It happens to all of us when we're afraid. Including Lion King one and a half. Where is Snow White and Lion King one and a half? It's probably at the end of the movie because of that weird little thing where a bunch of the cameos start showing up. Oh the end yeah, of the that that. oh god, the way that movie worked. I would never remember that. Oh good lord. That was the only way I watched the Lion King for the longest time as a kid. Yeah, through the one and a half thing. Oh, I'm Ventus. Actually, this was the like the notion. Role she's most no, well known for for her career. What do you think? This is her last time voicing uh, Snow White Great. Oh, in boy. Disney things. Oh boy. I wonder why. Her first one was in uh, Mickey's Magical Christmas in 2001. Okay. Oh god, this is an escort mission. Yeah. You remember the Queen Mini thing that you needed to do? Oh god, we gotta fight the trees! Jesus. You got the other things to wave over too. Mm hmm. That's where Sarah's road comes in. Alright. Good lord. Oh, those are more normal versions of common oh, enemies. Oh man, I forgot what it's like to be weak. I'm so used to freaking two, I forgot what it's like when things are slow. Yeah, I haven't seen what some people find awkward about this combat system. That one doesn't flow quite as smoothly as 1, 2. Yeah, there's a reason why the 1, 2, 3 system has always been, like, the pinnacle of the gameplay for the series. Yeah. Because this system is weird. I'm sure there's a little better in, uh... Free drop distance if it's supposed to come back for that. But again, if we're gonna carry a combat system over, I hope they would improve it! Yeah. Yeah. I was also gonna say, I wonder if they'll feel better with another character. There's also a thing to take into consideration. I imagine Vengeance should be one of the easier ones to use since he's fast. Yeah. Panacea. Did it just drop a keyblade? Nope. Okay. I was saying, if you get keyblades with item drops, I'd be like, what the fuck? <laughs> no. That would be shit. Imagine, like. Uh, I know this is a prequel, but Jesus. I know it's before the keyblade board. Come on, man. Enemies dropping keyblades like nothing? I'm pretty sure we have a bigger problem with that one's the case. 
Yeah. Fighting over resources. Oh, that were, all these Keyblades are absolute trash. <laughs> They're all just sticks. Yep. Cool, I got increased HP for escaping the forest. Yep. No, imagine you get, yeah, imagine if there was like a case where it's like you need to make the ultimate Keyblade and one of the enemies drop like a mock, um, ultimate Keyblade you need to use for the recipe. But sit tight yeah. while I look around. Jeez. <sighs> Don't worry, you'll be able to sleep safe and sound. I'm sure nobody will walk in on you. Yeah. Too late. Freaking dwarves. Mm hmm. Someone's asleep in here. I would hate if I was sleeping. I got invaded by dwarves. The yeah, right. Clear. Not a monster in sight. Hate that to have them steal my underwear. Those are gnomes, first of all! You couldn't stay away, could you? And who invited you in, you rotten thief? Oh no, he's not a thief. He rescued me. Why did they leave the door unlocked? Yeah, right? <laughs> Just go on and get. Please don't I don't care how away. safe you think you are. Always lock the goddamn door. <laughs> Damn right. And oh, so very Even funny. for yourself. What happened? I gotta keep that locked. Well, I, I gotta keep that door locked. I live there. I don't want to see myself. Got rid of leash myself out of the world. And then these monsters came in. A sword like a key. Oh. Terra. You mean this stranger saw you and said his horde of evil demons after you? Terra would never do that. Yes, Terra's going out of his way to take care of all of Disney worlds. He saw the horror. That's where the darkness is coming from. Princess, you trustn't be so musty. I had a dream of a mouse. Mark my word. <laughs> I'll prove it. I saw a dream of a mouse. Mm -hmm. Now it's haunting me. <laughs> yep. A reasonable reaction if you actually got to see the depths. Yeah, right. We can look after Snow White for uh, now. Wow, well, you guys were oddly accepting of this. This is so weird. I nearly forgot to. That. Yeah, come on. Cover your mouth. Since we started helping the princess, I wake up bright and early every morning. Don't seem like you're ever fully awake. God, there's no white shirt, it's nice. Don't do anything. Don't become a creep. It's you again, you thief. What do you want? Almost made it sound like it was going to be a shop for a second. Snow no White makes the best of gooseberry pies we've ever tasted. Yeah, thanks, Doc. <laughs> <laughs> All this bad is talking to the horrors of Gate Hearts 2. They have a whole text bubble for it. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> uh, yeah, first person mode, if you uh, press the. Uh, the I guess the select equivalent Did button. Have that too? Yep. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, I thought so. And now we meet our boss. Already? A freaking tree. Yeah, yeah, the boss already? That was fast. A giant piece of wood. Oh, that's right, sorry. I keep thinking it's supposed to be really long, like Kingdom Hearts 2. Yeah. So easy, the world shit can take less than an hour. If we're lucky. Ah, fire! Ah! Power fire! Power yeah. fire! Yeah. Right, I keep reading all mental likenesses are actually a thing in this series. Okay, when you get the ability to have more, uh, oh, I guess through games of the story, you can have the ability to have more commands on your command yep. at a time. Can you level them up from using them? Yep. Okay, okay. I didn't know it was like just having them equipped when you got experience or like. They, they all get, they all have their own levels, so yep. Okay, I didn't know if it was like something like the experience, what you get, also go to the abilities you just have equipped on you. It honestly would be an easier way to do it. That way, there are shitty abilities. You're like, well, I just have to fight with them and not have to worry about them. <laughs> Ooh, it's someone who's hitting the boss with this. Oh, hitting the boss. Hey, great, you can item drop just hitting a boss. Use the finisher! Oh, there you go, deck capacity. Yeah, deck capacity increase, and we also get the firestorm c command. All right, well, that answers my question. There we go. And like that, there's nothing left. Wow, these these worlds are a lot smaller than I thought they'd be. Yeah. Jesus. It's almost like it's a PSP game. I don't know why I kept thinking it was gonna be a lot bigger. Mm. Oh, you. Mm. Guess I'll deal with you during the revisit. 
Excuse me, ma'am. You dropped this. <laughs> I almost thought you were an organization member for a second. <laughs> Thank you, my pet. To tell the truth. One of the originals. I don't know what I would have done without that. <laughs> All right, that's another character. God damn it! Yep, I've I get that voice too. That sword before. Shit, Tara has one. Yeah, the you know um, the witch. Oh, yeah. Is that what she's yeah. called? The witch. Yeah, I think that so. Ruffian pointed one of those at me. Okay. Me about some Let me find that. Also, we tell him the voice of Mickey or not yet. Stopped. Kind of. That doesn't sound like him at all. Didn't like speak speak yet. Yeah. Where did Tara Just go? more like a. Oh! Yeah. Sure yeah. I yeah. have no idea. I'll hold off that then. Must you all menace a poor granny so? What? No, oh, she seems so nice. No, I, I was just. Yeah. Get the hell out of here. Oh. Uh, uh, resting antagonist face. Got it. <laughs> of course. So now we have a Forge Daily with Snow White. Oh. And we get the Treasure Trove Keyblade. Has poor reach. Okay. The witch is voiced by Suzanne Black Blakesley. Yep, who voices a another character in this series. Very prominent one, at least in the first game. Yep, and just there in the second. Yep. Trying to figure it out again, okay. I mean, yeah, that is usually how it works. Yep. Because of, uh... I kind of thought it was something like, once you access new areas, once the treasure chests were available there, you'd be able to get yeah, them. Yeah, I like it, but... I thought it's like, unless they're available, it's like, that means you can get them. Mm-hmm. Yep. They show up the list, it means you can find them actively. Of course. I mean, I would hope it'd be that simple. It would be funny if they just had every single treasure you could find in the area from the get-go. No, I it's mean, like, more everything's confusing. available technically, it's just you can't get half of them. Right, right, right. Oh, God, that would make it even more confusing. <laughs> like, oh! There's like 40 treasure chests in this area. I only see three in this room. And the ones I unlocked are all different spots on the checklist. Oh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> I can't even get this one without a power-up. Sucks to be you. <laughs> well, you know, it's the very first one on the checklist. God damn it! That sounds like something a really bad RPG would fucking do. <laughs> it's like, oh yeah. Here's a bunch of treasure chests here all along the way. By the way, they're not in order the way you get them, so fuck you. You can't even get all of them without all the power-ups. Fuck you as well, god damn. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. I can't think RPGs have had really bad, like, collectibles like that. At least try to, like, figure out where everything of a certain collectible is. And again, maybe I haven't played enough bad RPGs to notice, to acknowledge that sort of thing. No, I was trying to think in my mind that there were like really bad RPG mechanics I could come up with. I can think of Quest 64. Oh, God. Because <laughs> of all the mechanics of how you level up in that game. You gotta level up by performing actions that would enhance these actions. How do you like level up defense from taking damage? By just sitting there and basically letting people kick the shit out of you. How to level up your speed by moving! Or the best one. Here, level up the elements. By the way, the first two up, you only got two element choices technically because the other ones are kind of worthless in comparison. Oh god. So you can't even max out the other ones to see what they do. <laughs> what the fuck? Jesus Christ! Back in those days, when those games would just come out broken and could never get fixed. I don't think that's a coming out broken and fixed problem. That's a case of. The, the mechanics that they thought were a good idea at the time, they weren't good at all. Right. I did learn something, apparently. I learned why people like High Blind. The version you kept saying was apparently the shitty one they had on NES, or whatever. Apparently, whatever it was originally developed for as a match RPG was apparently, that was a good High Blind. The only High Blinds I know of are High Blind, Virtual High Blind, and Super High Blind. All the NES versions are apparently the infamous ones you've seen. Whatever the original highlight was on, like, PC or something, apparently that one was actually good. They just, like, hampered the fuck out of it for the NES. I didn't realize it had more than one version. I learned about that. I was like, oh! That's why there are some people that praise it. That makes a little more sense. But still, these other versions that are probably more accessible ones are... horrible. <laughs> Just out of spite, they're gonna give us, hey, everybody loves highlight, we'll give us the NES version. 
the hide kind of a hide line collection. <laughs> a hide line collection. Well, we're already getting a Bubsy collection. I've heard rumors that 3D is gonna be in there. Collection <laughs> is. That's like, where are you gonna actually sit down and actually? No, that game needs a fucking reboot. <laughs> That's how bad that game is. <laughs> it's a re-break. Break it and make it something different. Uh, need a memory wipe of that game. Re-wipe. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even, I, I think I remember back in the day I actually spent, as a kid, I think I spent a day trying to get through that game. And my brothers who actually watched me try to get through it. I remember playing that game numerous times as a kid, but there was one day I spent like three hours playing it. I think I got maybe halfway through? I don't know, because I was a kid. I don't think I ever played it after that. It's weird, because as a kid, I don't remember playing many games. Actually, there is one game I remember playing. Probably that games you, remember, you might remember playing. And probably looking at it now, is like, why did I play this game? It's probably the only ones. The only ones I can think of on top of my head are, ironically enough, some Dragon Ball games. Yeah. Dragon Ball Saga, I think it was called, which is the console one, and... Of course, the grand one, well, actually, no, so I guess probably worse, debatably. Don't know how I managed to be that. And then there's fucking, like, Zuko who won. <laughs> I remember playing Ultimate Fight 22. I'm trying to think about other bad games that I've technically played. I mean, I always... Sonic Shuffle is technically because we got the subject <laughs> ourselves, thanks to you. <laughs> I got Mario's Game Gallery. I, lo I love it. I Unironically, though, you have a problem. <laughs> I'd say that's me with Mega Man and Base, but I think that game has... At least that game's fun! It's better than 8. Better than 8. It's better than 5. Better I'd than say it's one. better than 6. i say it's better than 1. Yeah, better than 1. Although, after looking at the game and thinking about it, part of me wonders, do I say I like this more than 2? Oh, um, that's... <laughs> I at least have 2 in my top 5. Now, the more I think about you, the more it starts falling off for me. Yeah, I have it under 3, 9, 10, 7. It wrestles with 11, I think, for the next spot. It's 3, 9, 10, 4. 4 is pretty good, too. I have, like, 4 right under it. Yeah, it's like three and then nine. I think Mega Man and Base right underneath that. Yeah. And then the bottom, it's like... It's like... Six one eight five, something like that. Yeah, it's like one. Shit, I wish I, I wish I remember my Mega Man rankings I did when I did Mega Man Legacy Collection. It's like two. one eight. Honestly, I because after been playing five in isolation without playing the other ones before, I kind of appreciate it a little bit more. Yeah, but oh it's no. still five though. Yeah, I I still have as my least favorite. By itself, it's okay, but just playing the others is like, I find so much more fun in all of these. They all do something unique. Yeah. Five, you have an overpowered Mega Buster and Beat. That's all you get out of it. There's nothing else unique about it. At least six to a block Beat, you have to go through alternate routes. And you have armors. Yeah. Which are more balanced in seven. And four was the mo and four was the um, one that introduced the double castle thing to begin with. The double castle and the introduction. And honestly, of the, the stages charge are shot. among. Honestly, the stages and the weapons are among some of the better ones in the series, in my mm -hmm. opinion. Yep, the charge hog introduced to that, and some of the stages are great, and the freaking ball switch is pretty hard. Some of them are. Yeah. Like specifically, drill man for me. It was him and uh, trying to. Yeah, I think it was Skullman. Yeah, Skullman, I remember, was being kind of hard. Hey, I always had trouble hitting him and dodging him. Yeah. Freaking barrier. Though it also had some of the worst ones. Oh, yeah. How could I forget? Everybody's favorite. Dive man! <laughs> uh, this boss was actually rather easy once you figured it out. Yeah. You gotta jump in the right rhythm. That was the hardest one, too, man. <laughs> yep. Or can have the meme one with the weakness that actually fucking works for once. <laughs> Here, the flash thing or whatever it's called. Oh yes, using that on Pharaoh Man, right? And you can actually fight back on like fucking Mega Man 2's flash. Yep, thing. where you just flash it and you just burn through your ammo to knock out half his health. Like, oh well, that was that was great. Wish I could have actually been able to fight back. That was probably the biggest problem too, to be honest. Like the ammo efficiency, like half of them were. God awful! The ammo efficiency for some of them are shit. 
And even without that, some of the weapons, by extension, became Wait. shit because of it. Quick metal, quick, quick, quick boomerang, and metal blade, and uh, bubble lead were all fine. Bubble lead was sh actually, I think bubble lead is actual trash. Well, the weapon itself. I've tried, I have tried using that weapon against numerous enemies in a test. Literally nothing fucking works on True, that thing. True, it does just drop down. Absolutely, the floor. it's like every single enemy I've tested it on that wasn't like the bosses. It hits the enemy and it just fucking drops. That thing does nothing otherwise. That is pretty crap. Now I think about it. Yeah, like, it, it sucks. It's has... situational, and you need it for the final boss. Yeah, that's one of the only reasons the final boss is hard because you gotta use the bubble wet. Yep, like those three weapons are tri like here. Let's see, those three weapons and fucking um. Actually, no, it's just the three weapons I think about it. Metal, uh, well, metal blades. Indian's weapon, while decent, he took up way too much fucking ammo. Yeah, it's like, you got two options. That tornado was okay. Like, those were the three weapons. Air, uh, metal blades, uh, quick boomerangs, and uh, air tornado. Those ones are good. But to remember the other ones, bubble lead I think is absolute dog shit. That's not yep. even the bosses. 